telling yonder peasant who is he where and what his dwelling that's where you come in big no 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 you're supposed to be the page oh yes oh dear dear that's terrible well we've got to do something to pass the time away or else it'll get a bit on drum I know, let's play a game. That's an idea. You go outside and come in and I'll guess who it is. Oh, no, we always play that. Mm. I know what. Let's get our book of parlour games. Oh, yes, where is it? It's in Aunt Jessie's chest in the Louis XIV, the 14th room. All right, well, I'll go and get it. I don't see why I should do all that. Oh, hurry up and don't talk so much. Oh, I say, stinker. What is it? Oh, I can't get at it. Why not? Aunt Jessie's chest's caught in the mangle. Wait a minute. I think we put the book in the safe. Oh, so we did. We put it with the lump sugar and the tin of petrol, didn't we? Yes. Well, here's the safe. What's the combination? Uh, combination? Well, it's a sort of chemise and drawers all in one. You know, those things I wear under my nighty. No, oh, no, you silly little man. I mean the combination of the safe. It's uh, XQPF or something like that. Oh, I never bother about that. I just give it a good hard kick underneath and it flies open like this. Oh, <coughs> oh. Oh, I forgot I only had my plimsolls on. Never mind, it's opened it. And here's the book. Fun in the parlour or keep your boys at home. A hundred parlour games for winter evenings compiled by Edith Sitwell and Billy Bennett. Any pictures? Oh, isn't this exciting? What should we start with? Well, I'll open it at random. Here we are. Uh, musical Bumps, a game for six or more players. That's no good. Oranges and Lemons, a game for six or more players. That's no good. Postman's not children's version. That's no good. I like the good old-fashioned way. Gathering Nuts in May, a game for six or more players. Polo, a game for eight players on horseback. And Punjab Skittles, a game for 69 players on elephants. Oh, use your sense, Dickie. There's only two of us. Well, I know. Let's play Hunt the Thimble. Hunt the Thimble? We haven't got a thimble. We, we could play Hunt the Gas Mask. Oh, yes. Where are our gas masks? Here they are. Oh, Dickie, they're not ours. Oh, we must have picked up the wrong ones when we left the wish drive last night. Well, who do those belong to? Well, one's Mark Sis and the other's Mark Mum. Oh, well, I don't suppose it'll matter. You can have the one Mark Sis. Okay, Mum. Well, don't let's bother about Hunt the Gas Mask anyhow. Let's play Happy Families. No, we can't. We haven't got a full pack. Haven't we? Not since you ruined Miss Grit the Grocer's daughter. What do you mean? Don't you remember? You pinned her on the back door and wrote no bread today, postman on it. Oh, yes, I remember. Well, what shall we play? I know. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Oh, we haven't played that for a long time, have we? I've almost forgotten it. Now, well, I'll go first. No, I'll go first. No, I'll go first. I'll go now, first. Listen, I'll go first. Alphabetical order. Oh. I'll go first. Now, uh, let me think of something. Get it, um, okay. Yeah, uh, is it animal? Uh, well, it's a sort of... No, 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 wait a minute. You can't say that. You must just answer yes or no. Now, is it animal? Uh, no. Is it vegetable? Well, if you look at it one way... Yes, sir, you uh, must just say yes or no. Is it vegetable? No. Well, then it must be mineral. That's right. Is it tin? No, lemonade. Oh, you're impossible. I know, but I'm having it seen to. Ah, oh, happy, happy days. days. Well, it's still a bit humdrum. I know it is. Shall we play word making and word taking? Oh, we can't. We used all the letters in the alphabet soup last Friday. Don't you remember I got a rude word in mind? Yes, so you did. Well, let's play blow football. Oh, no. Last time we played blow football, we blew so hard we gave each other pneumonia. Well, there are no more games in this book except those for ten players. Shh, you mustn't advertise. Here, what about this? Fortune telling with cards or tea leaves. Oh, yes. Have we got any tea leaves? No, we smoked them. We've got a pack of cards under the leg of the chair that wobbles. Don't think we have. Oh, yes, here we are. There they are. Oh, but they're all black cards. Oh, it's only the finger marks. That's the ace of hearts with the egg on it. Now, it says in the book, when telling your friend's fortune, the more mystical effect can be obtained by simulating the appearance of a gypsy. What's that mean, Dickie? Well, it means you ought to dress up like a gypsy. How can we do that? I know. Put this shawl over your head. All right. My my hair. Phew, where'd you get this shawl from? It's the goat's rug, the one we cover Lewis up with. It's all right, though, isn't it, Arthur? Oh. Arthur. Oh. Arthur, speak to me. Oh. Are you all right? Yes, it's just the first shock. How do I look? Oh, it's too high. Hey, <laughs> you're telling me. I'll fix it. Come on. There we are. You know, to ha you ought to have earrings to look like a gypsy. I know the very thing. Mrs. Bagwash left a lovely pair of brass ones on the draining board. I'll go and get them. She must have been washing behind her ears. Are they there? Yes, here they are. Now, where's the gimlet? The gimlet? What for? Well, I've got to pierce your ears. Pierce my ears? Yes, to put the earrings through. It's all right. It doesn't hurt a bit. Doesn't it? No. Lots of young girls have it done. What? Have their ears pierced. Oh, come on, Big, don't be a funk. Couldn't I have guessed? No, it's been cut off. 
Well, couldn't I freeze it? How could you do that? Well, I could dip me in in the company vanilla tub we brought in for supper. Oh, all right, then. Go and get it off the windowsill. OK, Becky. Such a lot of fuss about having his ears pierced. Uh, mm, this gimlet's a bit rusty. Still, I think it'll do the trick. Here you are, Becky. Here's the ice cream. There's a boy. Now dip your left lobe into it. I thought I was going to have my ears pierced. Oh, the lobes, that part of your ear that you... Dip. Oh, dip it in. All right. Dip it in, dip it in. Dip it, dip it in. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. You are a baby, Big, you know, making all this fuss. Now, keep your ear in the ice cream until it goes numb, and then rush and put it on the table, then I'll make the hole with the gimlet. You're not going to screw it, are you? Oh, just give it a sharp tap with a hammer. And it doesn't hurt? I keep telling you it doesn't. Now, is your ear quite cold? Yes, I feel just like a brass monkey. Well, come on, then. Ready? Go. Now, put your head on the table. Yeah. Keep still. Oh. It'll be all over in a minute. Oh, oh don't oh, fidget. My. Here oh, we go, sorry. then. Oh. Oh, you've pierced me on drum. There you are, Big. I told you it wouldn't hurt. Now let's put the earring in. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh Big Mother Scale. You will laugh at these earrings. Clip on. What? You uh, just clip them on? That's right. <laughs> then there was no need for you to pierce me ears at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, then, I'll tell your fortune without the aid of earrings or cards. All right, carry on. You have had a nasty accident. I haven't. Well, blimey, you're going to help. Oh, oh. When the soul is on the wall.